The legal services of the Hudson Valley dedicated this unit to preserving and advancing the rights of members of the LGBTQ plus community to live with dignity and respect through legal representation and ag advocacy. Just a few of the category of cases that they handle, representing LGBTQIA plus homeless youth and preserving and obtaining necessary benefits. As an aside, LGBTQ youth make up a disproportionately large percentage of homeless youth, both throughout the country and in Rockman County and throughout the Hudson Valley as family and community support is often lacking, and families and communities are often hostile towards the individual's expressed identi identity. We look forward to bringing the legal services of the Hudson Valley into our next project for youth housing when that gets underway. They, they work protecting youth from bullying in schools. They help establish school safety plans for students threatened with violence on account of his or her sexual orientation or gender identity. They represent clients who face discriminatory acts in employment, housing, public accommodation, and credit because of group identity based on gender, which includes gender identity or sexual orientation. They assist with filing family offense petitions for cases involving intimate partner violence. They get involved in custody and visitation litigation. They assist clients with name change and gender marker change so that one's legal name and gender marker matches one's gender identity. They represent clients in appeals of denials for medical procedures. They help preserve medical benefits and the list goes on and on. I can tell you with confidence from my perspective as a lawyer, as a judge, as a longtime mentor of at-risk youth, at youth and as a chairperson of the board of the Rockland County Pride Center, the work of legal services of the Hudson Valley saves lives. I've seen it firsthand. And in our little neck of the world, legal services of the Hudson Valley makes the Hudson Valley a more fair, just, and accessible place for LGBTQ folks to live. And just a little local note of pride, the most recent addition to the unit is our very own Ellen Woods, a board member of PFLAG here in Rockland and a very well-respected local attorney. Glad to have you on board, Ellen. Please join me now in welcoming Rachel, come on up to accept the award. On behalf of the, our leadership, our staff, our board of directors at Legal Services of the Hudson Valley, I want to thank the 9th Judicial District Access to Justice LGBTQ Subcommittee for recognizing the work of our LGBTQ unit this Pride Month. I also want to congratulate the incredible, indomitable Majority Leader Stuart Cousins on her well-deserved award. Um, she may remember this, she remembers everything, but she is in fact responsible for the creation of the Legal Services LGBTQ <laughs> unit um, and then our recent expansion of the unit when we identified the need uh, because it, it, it was with New York State funding that the unit was created and then expanded. Um, and so it was with that funding that we So our unit, um, as Judge Eisenpress mentioned, was created in 2014 because we recognize that this population faces unique legal challenges. Um, and we are dedicated to preserving and advancing the rights of the of members of the LGBT community to live with dignity and respect, and we do this through legal representation and advocacy. Our incredible staff handle a range of cases from intimate partner violence to name changes to housing discrimination to protecting LGBTQ youth from bullying in schools to escape planning to immigration. And I want to recognize our staff who are here today. They are very modest, so I know that they will not stand even if I ask them to, but they are seated in the second row. <laughs> <laughs> they are, um, what I am most proud of is the manner in which these services are delivered by our staff. And that is with empathy, sensitivity, compassion, in a client-centered, trauma-informed manner. We attempt to meet the client where they are, understanding that their prior experiences with the legal system have likely neither been fair nor just. And our hope is that with our assistance, we can help them achieve equal access to justice. 
I do rec want to recognize that we could not do the work that we do without the incredible collaboration of our mighty community partners, and that includes the Rockland Pride Center and the LOC, just to name a couple, and that together we are stronger with our community partners. Um, although June is Pride Month, we use this time to celebrate the courage and resilience of the incredible LGBT community. LSHV's commitment is steadfast and in fact a daily journey. We are grateful for this recognition and we vow to continue to fight for equal justice for all. Thank you.